Hello all and welcome back to Hash Include Electronics. In this video, we are going to learn how to use PIR motion sensor with Arduino so that we can detect if there is any human movement and take some action. We will also see how to switch on and off light automatically if human motion is detected. So keep watching and I will explain you in details with code. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. We will be using SCSR501 PIR motion sensor module. PIR is nothing but passive infrared sensor. This sensor does not radiate energy for detection purposes. It works entirely by detecting infrared radiation emitted by or reflected from object. PIR sensors are commonly used in security alarms and automatic lighting applications. The detection is based upon the infrared radiations from a warm body like human or animal. This sensor detects these radiations and outputs high signal to indicate motion. Else, if there is no motion, then the output signal is low. It has three control pins, VCC, OUT and GROUND pin. VCC is used to provide plus 5V to sensor circuit. OUT gives digital output from sensor as 1 or 0. When motion is detected, this value will be 1. If there is no motion, then the value will be 0. GROUND is common ground pin. There are two potentiometers on the board to adjust two parameters, sensitivity and time. Sensitivity potentiometer sets the maximum distance that motion can be detected. It ranges from 3 meters to approximately 7 meters. Time potentiometer sets how long the output will remain high after detection. At minimum, it is 3 seconds. At maximum, it is 300 seconds or 5 minutes. Finally, the board has a jumper to select two different modes, H mode and L mode. H mode is the hold repeat re-triggering mode. In this position, the HCSR501 will continue to output a high signal as long as it continues to detect movement. L mode is no repeat non retrieving mode. In this position, the output will stay high for the period set by the time potentiometer adjustment. We will use the H mode as this is useful in our application. Let's take a look at how we can detect human motion and switch on and off AC bulb automatically. We will be using following components. Arduino Uno, PIR sensor module, 5V relay, AC bulb socket and plug, bulb, 7 to 12V DC battery, breadboard and few jumper wires. Let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Take 5V and ground from Arduino and connect to breadboard. Connect PIR sensor to Arduino. Connect VCC and ground from breadboard and out pin to D2 pin of Arduino. Provide plus 5 and ground to relay. Connect in pin of relay to D3 pin of Arduino. Now connect AC socket and plug to relays COM and NO pins. If you need more information on how to use relay, please check my video on relay. Install the bulb into socket now. Adjust the sensitivity potentiometer to midway. Adjust time potentiometer to extreme counterclockwise to set on delay time as minimum which is 3 seconds. Let's take a look at code now. First we need to define sensor pin as D2, then define relay pin as D3, then inside setup function set relay pin as output and sensor pin as input. Inside loop function read the sensor values using sensor pin and digital read function. If object movement is detected then the sensor value will be 1 else the value will be 0. So if sensor value is high then turn on the relay to switch on the bulb. Our relay is low level trigger relay so we need to write low to switch on the light. Else if sensor value is low then turn off the relay to switch off the bulb. Let's upload the code. Connect Arduino to laptop using USB cable and hit upload. Now provide 7 to 12 volt to Arduino through V in and ground pin. Connect AC plug. Let's see how it works. We need to wait for 15 to 20 seconds for PIR sensor to automatically calibrate properly. As you see, the motion is detected and the light is switched on. As there is no motion detected, so light is switched off. As long as there is motion, the light is kept on. Thank you. 
Additional uses can be in public toilets, walk-in pantries, hallways or anywhere that needs automatic control of lights. This can provide energy saving as the lights are only turned on when they are needed and there is no reliance on users remembering to turn the lights off when they leave the area. I have provided the code and diagram link in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.